Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have acquired a Craig along my travels. Your audio's not even on. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I seem to have picked up a Craig along the way. He is on Fortnite. I am on WWE. I will not do that because it'll probably just lag to holy hell. But what we're going to... No. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing the NXT TakeOver Philadelphia predictions. Uh, NXT TakeOver is tomorrow. So I'm doing them today. Just so that up on YouTube in a day in advance. So you guys all know our predictions. It used to be a hindrance. Someone gets in the fucking way. No, I get in the way. Is that right? I'm asking you a question. I'm not saying you are. I'm saying, are you going to be? Ladies and gentlemen, this is why he's... Uh, well, regardless, I'm going to do NXT TakeOver Philadelphia predictions. So these two are just matches because I need to have seven matches on the card for some odd reason. So I'm just ignoring the first two. Wow, then just got matches. That's all they are to him. Cassius Ono versus the Velveteen Dream. Following that will be Adam Cole versus Aleister Black in an Extreme Rules match. <laughs> Then we'll have the NXT Women's Championship match because Ember Moon is going to be defending against Shayna Baszler. Following that will be... Gonna win it. What? Can you shut the fuck up? I'm just it... saying, a man win the women's match. Well, it's true. it's two saying. women in the women's title match. Why did a man win it? You know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't even know if your audio's on. I don't oh. really care right now. <laughs> Anyway, wow, following that will be the NXT really Tag really Team Championship care. match as the Undisputed mm, Era will defend against it. the Officer Pain. What the fuck are you muttering about? <laughs> and then the main event will be yeah, event. Andrade <gasps> Almas defending the NXT Championship against Johnny Gargano. So, so can I ask you a question? Pretty decent card. Of course you can ask me a question if it's going to be fucking relevant or at least somewhat decent. Uh, it's good. Calm, it's me. We get prepared for a solid question. See you WrestleMania. Yeah. Are you doing one for that as well? Like, are you going to be doing a stream for WrestleMania? Probably. I was checking if your audio is on, so I know if I'm talking to myself or not. Can you see if my audio is on? What? Fucking I'm watching the stream. I could check if your fucking audio's coming out of my stream or not, and I know it's not. <laughs> Motherfucker. So this is like Craig's asking me if I'm doing one for WrestleMania, and I will be. I'm gonna try and do one for every pay per view. Hopefully, which means I've got to do another one tomorrow. But anyway, let's get into the show. I've used the NXT Takeover thingy because it doesn't ha it doesn't have a Philadelphia one in the game, so. If you're wondering why it's just the yeah, original NXT Takeover thing. Oh yeah, Let's I turned off show intros, never mind. What a night. That. We take you over. No. So I've simulated those two matches, those are irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> you better not fucking start taking over, or there's going to be issues. Oh, I will take over. Just FYI, I'm not talking to myself, Craig is here. So... Craig's audio is on. <laughs> is his audio on? <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. I'm just making it? sure. Making sure. Okay. Hey, you want to co stream okay. so you can watch and matches along? I, or? This is when I sneaky. This is when I sneakily turn off the audio. Okay, well, are you want to watch the matches along with me, or are you just doing your own thing? <sighs> That's a good question. The answer is unknown yet. Okay, well, I'm gonna start the first match in a couple of minutes anyway. So. You gonna... starting with me? <laughs> it's a single player thing. I'm gonna be doing it in universe mode anyway. This is why I wanted to get it done before you. It wasn't on. single. It wasn't single player when we were doing it together. You hypocrite. Sounds really dirty and wrong. <laughs> Better anyway, gonna kick it off. You dirty Sona minded fuck. Versus the no, velvet team. Can we just circle back to this? Cammy's first fucking thought is that we're doing it together. I just want to fucking stream my predictions. I... Why is you that? You want a fucking to... stream? Okay, right. No, we're getting near Cammy's radius. It's not safe. Okay, so I'm going to mute Craig, and I'll continue the stream. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, Craig. No, you'll see me now. Actually, no, you won't see me at all. You'll see me tomorrow, because we're going to the gym tomorrow. By the way, guys, we're going to the gym tomorrow. 
Be happy that we're exercising. I'm not happy. See, you can't fucking hear me as a liar, too. Right. Without any further ado, without any further <laughs> fucking around, I'm just going to continue with the stream because I'm doing what I set out to do it and I'm going to do it. All right. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open with Cassie Soto versus the Velveteen Dream. Now, Craig, who have you got oh, in this match? Oh, no. Oh, no. You've got Ono. Don't All right. change that channel. Oh, no. We have Wait, singles action coming up. Velveteen Dream. We you know the guy that lost to Alistair Black in the last one. Against an imposing it adversary. Who will cake. reign supreme? <laughs> it actually does, doesn't it? But it's not a cake, I can assure you. <laughs> it's a human being. <laughs> Get ready for uh, fucking red? thieves to play down the mic. It's ginger. No, it's not ginger. <laughs> it's Velveteen Dream. <laughs> see, if down, see if the common dame tune comes off of Velveteen, can I just agree the cake? Are you just in the fucking I'm going to be an asshole mood to ruin Kami's stream? Is that, oh, is that... yes. Okay, well. I've had three hours of it already. I'm, I'm in the fucking prime mood. Huh? Okay, cool. So... I was hoping this would just be a fucking normal, nice, relaxed stream. It is normal. I'm here. Just so you know, when I do the Royal Rumble one tomorrow, guys, I'll be doing it alone. Don't worry. I'll fucking mm. make sure of it. Wow. So, Craig, no, I've fucking no, warned you. I'm going to play I don't know who's the further thing, because he's coming to the movies, he's coming to lunch, he's coming to the gym. And then I'm after that. Tomorrow. After, when I, after the fucking cinema, I'm going to come home and I'm streaming it. But that'll be like fucking one o'clock in the morning. I don't know what sort of cinema you go to, but the fucking cinema here doesn't start oh, from no, like we'll, 11. We'll go to the cinema, then come to my house and get shit fist, and then fucking make go. No, because I'll, if I come on one in the morning, I'll miss part of Takeover. It's mm -hmm. not my plan. Alright, without any further ado, I'm going to play some themes down the mic because we need themes. Over. So, Sorry. first match is underway. Wait, 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 question, question. No, question. too late. No, is this not copy, right? I probably will, but I don't care. I'm not making money from it. I fucking tried to help you can't make it easy now. Since it's top of it, I don't care. <laughs> so Cassius Sono and Velton Dream match got added to the end of well, Triple H added to the press conference. The other day. So it's the last minute addition to the card. Here comes Cassius Sono, a man who fancies himself as a bit of a knockout artist. Cassius Ono, well-known name in NXT now. Oh no! Oh no! I made the picture. Oh no! Just so any, if any streamers are watching, you probably won't be able to hear us during the themes. So, be warned. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> so this is the Velveteen Dream. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like a fucking king. He's not a cake. He's also <laughs> a really good wrestler. What's his texture? What's his texture did you just say? He's not a fucking cake! Okay, okay. What's the flavor of his wrestling? I'll ask you questions after the entrances. What I want to ask you coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. How about it, Michael? Good. Is that a flavor of the week? Oh, good. Stucky. How can I look in the fucking pig for it? No, I'd say he definitely has his work cut out for it here tonight. He so entered it, what? Well, okay, easy, that sure. entrance hey, is stupid. <laughs> he entered it one side of the ring and fucking starts doing this other thing at the other. <laughs> Whatever. Velveteen Dream. Personally, what I'm picking in this match. Right, so Craig, what's your questions? So, Comments and concerns. Um. Should I start this now? Because I thought you wanted to stream it with me. Stream what with me? All right, we're ready to kick this one off. What's that? These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show it. here tonight. Oh. I was going to watch it on YouTube. Guys, once Philadelphia it was fans are among the toughest to impress, but I'm willing to bet these superstars oh, no, will have control them on early on, stomping the arm of the Velveteen Dream. <laughs> All right, this shows that this isn't really a stream. Oh, why not? Of course it is. 
I, I said, <laughs> if we go in 10 minutes, Craig, I told you I was streaming this. <laughs> this is a... Okay, good. Your audio's off. There's no that way thing. he could have avoided that. Blow. Swinging that breaker by Velveteen Dream. Oh no! Throwing Velveteen Dream outside the ring. Catch him on the ropes. No net breaker off the ropes. I'm not gonna answer your stupid questions. Off the ropes goes Velveteen Dream. Oh no, with a big boot, but Velveteen Dream avoids it. Oh no, catches him. Hooks the arms. Looks for a power bomb. But Velveteen Dream fights out of it. He delivers and a clothesline line out of the ring by the Velveteen Dream. Is now just taunting. Oh no. I'm playing as whoever I predict. So at the moment, I'm playing as Velveteen Dream. Thank you. I needed that reassurance. Okay, so he's gone, thank fucking god. <sighs> oh, team dream now, belly to belly, belly suplex. If anyone watching has any predictions for uh, NXT TakeOver Philly, then leave them in the chat. Looks Spine like busted by the team dream, just so you know, this is a fully created one, I haven't created it myself, I've just got it off custom uh, community creations, and uh, just rolling with what it has. So if there's anything inaccurate or anything, then I apologise. Velveteen Dream fighting out the corner. Throwing Ono into the opposite corner. And this body splash. Ono avoids it and catches him. That's a Rolling net way. breaker by Ono. On the canvas. And now... Cassius Ono lifting up the Velveteen Dream for He's power bomb. Here. He's gonna want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Strength of Cassius I wouldn't Ono. Call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. Dream fighting out of it. Looking for a drop kick. He's missed. Shot. That was the perfect strike. And now Ono could That's take complete control of this match. Drilled. Is he going for another power bomb? Several different ways this can end. Carrying Velveteen Dream to the corner. Turnbuckle power bomb by Ono. And a cover now from Cassius Ono. And the kick out. And an easy kick Just out from Velveteen to Dream. It's too early in the match to go for victory yet. Oh, and he's one step ahead on that one. Down Back suplex by the Velveteen Dream. Ever since this feud of Alistair Black, I've actually started liking the Velveteen Dream. It was a really good match at TakeOver War Games. And hopefully, it'll be repeated at nope. TakeOver Philly tomorrow night. for it a second time. Belly to belly suplex again and Velvety Dream just continuing to taunt Ono which is not a smart decision. Apparently Velvety Dream is a cake like according to Craig. Away fast and just, early. I don't ask questions after a while. And Dream getting a shot in on Ono while he's taunting. And this could be the opening that the so Velveteen Dream needs going up top. Hoping to deliver huge impact move. Oh no, rolling into position. Incredible. And the splash by Velveteen Dream off the top row of a cover on Ono. Oh and a kick out. I can tell you that. Might have slipped there, Cole. Still trying Firstly, to get back to I haven't got here. all my predictions ready for uh, right now. take over Philly yet. I've still got a couple that I'm on the fence about. I haven't completely decided. Stay down, this man. one, though, I'm definitely going Velveteen Dream. I feel like WWE are going to push him. Which is good because he's has to be pushed, especially after Takeover War Games. That slam put Another belly to belly by guys. Dream. Now catching him. The inverted DDT. Right I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know the names of Velveteen Dream's signatures and finishers. Looking for the finish. So if I, I'm just probably gonna say the actual move name. So I apologize if I get it wrong. Don't you dare get up, man. Or if I don't know it. I apologize for not mulling. And I apologize there. if I do get name wrong. Oh no, fighting back against Dream here. How's that for Taking down the snapmare and then knee to the back. For this move. 
He's looking a little weird. Polish and dream here, keeping it in the back. To feel the pressure a Working bit. on he's incredibly and dream. He's nice to fight out of it. To accomplish in his career, and rightfully so. But if he wants to pull away dream here, to he's going to have to mount a but he has made quite impact soon. Death Valley Driver, not sure the actual now. name, but covered now Can he do by Velveteen Dream. There's an ear fall. Yeah, and Ono with a kick yet. out just about. Of course Ono was also at the last takeover. Going one on one against Lars Sullivan. Fortunate, unfortunately for Ono, coming out on the losing end. Pays for that one. Look, Hopefully we're going to get the winners into the post tonight. Into the power he's in his mind, he's going to try and, and do another move to Velveteen Dream here. I believe dropping him onto a turnbuckle, snake eye sort of maneuver. And the Velveteen Dream's down in the corner. Oh no, with the boots to the Velveteen Dream. Now cover from Cassius Oh no. He hasn't done nearly enough Another to get kick the out by yet. Dream. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Some early kick outs by other team Dream here, showing that he's still reversal. relatively fresh. And he delivers a spirited elbow. Cassius Ono reversing, unaffected by those punches from Velveteen Dream. No, he reverses it. Velveteen Dream unaffected and by Cassius Ono coming in the corner. Cross body by the Velveteen Dream in the cover. He may get the three count right there. Another kick sure. out Can by Cassius Ono. The big man staying in the match. Oh, the team dream looking to wear down Ono and get a victory here. Victory against Cassius Ono would be massive for the other team dream. The of course, Ono is an established name in the NXT here, and of course no, on the independent circuit before Michael. he came to NXT. The other team dream calling Ono to his feet. I apologize if the stream's a little laggy, by the way, guys. He's moving like a man about that. Kicking him away. And that was picture perfect drop, drop kick by the Velveteen Dream. Oh boy, he is rolling. Followed up by an attempt to move on the ground there. Oh no, though, and however, having the none counter. of it. Catching Dream with the reversal. He's not getting and you know what's coming up here in the like corner. Chances right now. Velveteen Dream needs to be wary of this. He is a the big boot is reversed by Dream. I believe it's going to be a discus big boot from Cassius Ono that he loves to use. A Velveteen Dream pulling Ono to his feet. He can't take much more. I think he's going to look for another Death Valley driver here. Velveteen Dream planting wow, Ono to the mat. You guys are. This another do it right there. cover on Cassius Ono. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. And just at the last take? second, the wow, big man kicking out over. again. Cassius Ono staying in this match. Credit to him. And now Velveteen Dream was looking for something big here. Close lining Ono to the outside. Bit of a slow motion move here, but a suicide dive really by the Velveteen Dream. We've got to see that again, guys. So nice, you got to see it twice. What a massive maneuver. Hopefully the audio is all okay. Hopefully everything is being heard well. I hope so anyway. Just a little quiet and I apologize, but I'm speaking as loud as I can. I just realized so something. Far, one guys, second. But it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here. I don't know if it's any better or not. Should be okay. Should be a little louder now. Oh no, getting up from the suicide dive. Velveteen Dream climbing to the top rope. It's been so Catching Ono by surprise with the battering ram, and that should be it. There's it no way Cassius Ono's fighting out after all his punishment he kicked out. Byron, he may be down for good. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Cassius Ono kicked the out. He's taken. And what's Velveteen got to do here? He gets defeat this man. Just so you know, I switched the difficulty up to here, Legendary. Guys. So if I like if I lose I any matches, any um, that's why. But now might be I'm not really used to Legendary in this game. Ever since I got this game, I'm playing hard difficulty because I couldn't get the reversals down, and I still haven't got the reversals down. But I was finding hard too easy, so I, I put out to Legendary. I had the reversals off for a little while, but I just can't. Nice too much. 
So I put reversal limits back on, and uh, it was just where we are today, I guess. Velotin going to look for a guys. high this isn't good. top no rope manoeuvre here on Cassisono. Will it be reversed? No. Looks like Velveteen's got it. German suplex off the top rope by the Velveteen Dream. Showing very few signs of life here. Yeah, there's no, no way he's coming back. Night this. night to Might Cassius, well and that should be here all. For the win. Cassius Ono with another kick out. You gotta applaud the resiliency of Ono. This is what makes him one of the best. Velveteen's rock fight to him really well tonight. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Velveteen avoiding the attack from Ono. Who has sent Velveteen Dream down with a net breaker? I think Kono's going to look for that discus big boot oh, again. Still down, Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for Velveteen him right Dream now. Bear, watch out. Oh, oh, what He's boot. hit by it. Wow, and it looks like. Gritty performance. Oh no, looking for the KO. Oh no. And he's connected with it. Ooh, Velveteen no Dream could be out That's here. You put an point and I think I've just match. fucked up this match, to be quite honest. Because I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen. I thought I had the reversal on that. Could be a rope break. He could pin his opponent right here. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Velveteen Dream kicking out of the KO. Just a matter of time now before <laughs> this superstar to be goes for the finisher. And when that happens, you can bet this one's over. I really didn't expect to kick out of that at all, let alone at one. The unfortunate reality is he might not get up. Cassius so no refused what to do now. The other team just kicked out tonight. home run approach. And the other team reversed off the road by Ono. Ono missing the big, big miss boot. For him there. And it'll likely pay for the it team here. And agility. And the other team dream another belly to belly. He the belly to belly. Using that move constantly, but it's working. Off the ropes comes Ono. Drop kick. WWE locker room here. And it looks like Velveteen Dream is going to go for it again. I believe a third Death he's Valley driver. On the edge here. Never mind. Huge move right there. EDT. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have the Velveteen to Dream? I don't think that's it. Here we go. I think he's looking for another Death Valley driver it's all just to make sure it looks more like a Samoan driver, to be honest. This could be but Velveteen Dream is victorious this over Cassius Ono. Impressive showing by Ono. The dream victorious. Dream constantly taunting Ono throughout the match. Got a KO for his troubles, but managed to get out of it. And a victory for the Velveteen Dream. I don't think he's finished there with Cassius Ono. Going to the outside of the ring. Picking up Ono. A rolling net breaker on the outside from Velveteen Dream. I think Dream's looking to make a statement here when to all the higher ups on, in NXT. Look out. Another neck breaker move. on the concrete. Looking at our winner here, but guys. that's not it. Velveteen Dream wants to finish off. Oh no, good and proper. A second DDT. Flooring Cassius. Oh no. Body hurts after a move statement like made. From the Velveteen Dream over Cassius Ono. Hopefully the audio is all okay. I don't want to like 
have to switch it. It should be okay. Singles action is up next. But anyway, up next is a this. very personal a match. Well, Gonna the undisputed the era. Alistair Black defeating Adam Cole in a qualifying number one. Con uh, well, in a match to qualify for number one contender's fatal four way. In which, well, when Alistair Black was in that fatal four way, he was about to win it or he could have won it. He had a good chance of winning it, I believe. Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era came in and lured him away. And I believe Gargano got the victory. I think that's how it went. I'm not entirely sure. I don't actually. I haven't actually watched the NXT episodes much recently. But I think that's what went on. Regardless, it's led to this Alistair Black versus Adam Cole under extreme rules at NXT TakeOver, which means anyone can interfere. It means Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish can interfere before their scheduled NXT Tag Team Championship match. It also means that Roderick Strong could also come and interfere on behalf of Alistair Black, or hell, even Roderick Strong could turn heel and join the Undisputed Era. There's limitless possibilities. All I know is it's going to be brutal. And it's not... I don't know if either man's going to walk away from it. So once again, guys, you probably won't be able to hear me while the themes are playing. Just be warned. Um, I probably won't speak during the entrances, actually, because you'll be able to hear me, of course. Once we get into the match, I'll start talking again. Without further ado, let's load into it. Of course, as you can see, I'm uh, favouring House to Black. The leader of the Undisputed Era. He is saying all will fade to black. Corey, what should we expect? Will Adam Cole tonight? fade to I black tonight? To come out of the gate hot, Cole. From what I've been told, he's been really concentrating on getting the advantage early. So it's just a matter of time till we see. I think I'm slightly out of time, but regardless. Here comes Alistair Black. I am a couple seconds out of time. Alistair Black is ready to take out all his anger on Adam Cole here. I wouldn't be surprised if neither man walks away, like I said. Okay, guys, here we go. 
The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch oh, would be if I was it Nice avoidance there by Alistair Black, me. followed by a knee to that face to start off here. To impress, but I'm Very to nice to get in here. Have them on their feet Black phone call long. into the corner. Hasn't been any weapons yet, but don't think we won't see any. Apparently, Ooh, Alistair Black unable to do the elbows elbow. in the corner. It's taken two reversals off Adam Cole. Okay. Whatever. What's your analysis I think I might have just found a glitch Black. with this Adam Cole. He's a so called expert, so what can we expect from him tonight? I might have to exploit it. Doctors, Never mind. I haven't found a glitch to them all. A win would Suplex make the attempt by Cole, blocked by Black with a knee to the head. Oh, now Black right with a brain head. buster. I feel like this one's going to get very extreme very soon. Of course, I'm going to be streaming the Raw Rumble prediction stream tomorrow as well, guys. As for the entrance themes, I don't think I'll do all 30 in the Rumble. I think I'll probably just play the first two that come out. And then after that, I'm Take not cover. going to do you all 30 because I won't know, first of all, who any of them are. Second of all, well, I'll know who one is because I'm playing with a certain one. I don't know where I'll enter, Matt. Because, of course, it's prediction. I could pick my number. Cole looking for a kick. Black's just saying, no, you're not taking that on me. Elbow. Cole to slow kick. This could be the start of an ugly There's a combination of blows there. He's not careful. And Adam hey, Cole. You're gonna absorb some punishment in probably the not match. smart to roll to the outside here. I believe Alistair Black is looking for a weapon. At this point. One weapon in particular. The kendo sticks. Knocking Adam Cole crack? off the apron. This is not good oh, and that's for Adam the Cole time. here. You don't want to get hit with that once, let alone twice. I think in real life, the Undisputed Era will come in and interfere, but I still think Alistair Black will overcome the odds and win. However, I can't have that on this game, so... It sucks, really. Should be able to schedule interferences. Nope, that would be kind of cool. No question about Big that forearm by Adam Cole is now taking control of Black on the outside. He hits a huge elbow drop. Like Back I said, this has all come from the Undisputed Era costing Black a shot Cole's at the NXT title. It could have been Black versus Almas in the main guys. event tonight. I'd never count this but thanks to the Undisputed Era, what, it's he's not. not so hot right now. He's Gargano's really got the opportunity instead. I bet, I feel like, as happy as Arthur Black is for Johnny Gargano, he was much rather the opportunity himself. He's got the opportunity to beat the hell out of the man who cost him that title shot. devastating elbow drop. And he's doing a lot of damage here to Adam Cole early on. I told you this would be truly brutal. And it hasn't let up yet. Another brain buster, I believe, here by Black. Changes posture in a hurry. Just try to wear down Adam Cole. Get his he doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up before here. Before undisputed error can interfere. Another Kendall stick now, I believe. Coming up from under the ring. Alistair Black bringing the Kendall stick in. Cole rising to his feet and a shot to the back. Just looking at Adam Cole here. Sitting right in front of him. This could have all been avoided. But Adam Cole had to stick his nose in. Alistair Black's business. The Undisputed Era had to stick his nose in Alistair Black's now business. And it's costing Adam right Cole now. right here. To me like he just hit a wall. Of course, the Undisputed Era may not interfere. They've got a tag team title defense against the Office of Pain later tonight. He clearly did his homework heading Which means Adam Cole may have to go alone in this entire match. Condition He's definitely had that control. I think Alistair Black with the cutter now looking to finish yeah, early on tight, Adam guys. Cole. That's what he was looking for, Michael. You feel the effects of a move like that for days afterward. Sorry about that, guys. I'm muting my mic soon after hearing me spamming the wow, button. He escapes it. He's probably just a horrible got no to hear you him here tonight, Cole. Cole kicks the gut. Black with a reversal. Oh, man, Knocked the Adam Cole to outside around. I believe Alistair Black through a top rope. Oh, this could be dangerous. This. And it hasn't worked, but Alistair Black smartly rolls through. 
Into the barricade goes Cole, who reversal. reverses it. And Arden Cole can take over here. Look out. He's got his sights Back set on that neck region. And now elbows to the head of Alistair oh, Black, Alistair who is Black now busted is open busted. as well as his opponent. Aaron Cole continuing to work on that wound now. Elbows to the head of Alistair Black here. I don't know, guys. I really thought we would have seen the finisher Into already. The ring now. Alistair Black up top. Cole, I don't think he's realised. That's what is up top. And the knees taking down Adam Cole. And that should be it. Do it. Realistically. And he's able to get Cole out. still fighting I in the two in count. Shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Black. And you've seen what Alistair Black's picked up here. He's just lying in wait for Cole to get to his feet. This doesn't look good for the Undisputed this Era leader. This crowd really showing their appreciation for what has been a great match so far. Adam Cole slowly getting up. Incredible. And getting a lot of force swiftly knocked back down. By the man who could have been great number one contender tonight. Alistair a cutter Black. by so Alistair Black this into recover. That's it. Wait, Another kick two. out. Oh, I don't think he got the shoulder from Adam up in time. Cole, baby. He needs to change something fast, Last guys. NXT TakeOver, we saw Adam Cole win the War Games match for the Undisputed Era. Tonight, he's in a one-on-one -on -one match with Alistair Black, and it's Great. not oh, going well, safe no to say. Alistair Black chair. now got the chair like out and just heap. wailing oh, really on Adam Cole. Man, this is not good at all. And now, DDT... The rattle the skull of Adam it Cole here, who's here. a bloody mess. Kick out at the we told you to get out of hand. Wow, Adam Cole somehow kicking over. out. We told you to get out of hand quickly. Alistair Black in complete control. Just waiting for Cole to gap again. Cole's taking too long for Black's liking. And now oh Cole ends up God. in the steel chair. This is not good for Adam Cole here. Snap DDT by Alistair Black. And of course, Alistair Black, we know can hit that black mass out of anywhere. Is he going to hit it tonight, though? Adam Cole will be hoping not. Exploder suplex by Alistair Black. That should be all here. How is Adam Cole still even in this match? Sure that and that not the kick out I can't believe from the undisputed error here. leader. I think Black. The cogs turning in Black's mind here. I think he's got an idea. Alistair Black, I believe, bringing out some wood, bringing out a table. This match has been nothing. Respect when it comes to competing on pay per view. Full realizing the survival be could be at shortly. stake here. Knocks Black down. Starts taunting in the corner. Black getting back to his feet. Adam Cole took too long taunting. Another Look knee to the face. And he might not get back up. Of Adam this Cole. Be the end of the road for I believe well, if he can't get Black back is to his setting feet, up you're his right. table for a specific purpose. Or maybe he's not setting it up at all. I did try to set it up. There we go. I think we might see a table break here very soon. It's matches like this that make Courtesy of Alistair Black. Adam Cole so exciting. Oh trying to fight right. back. Alistair's got his number though. His number is, well, table time I believe. Table in play. Or at least it was meant to be, but Cole doing anything can, he can to avoid that table. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Oh my goodness! Into the table. And now Alistair Black. German Ooh, suplexing Black. Adam Cole through the table. Knock you silly, that's for sure. Of course, Adam Cole made Black this way. And honestly, I don't blame Alistair Black for taking out his frustration and Adam Cole. No but he needs to remember there is a thing such as taking it too far. 
And I think Alistair Black knows no limits when it comes to revenge. We saw what he did to Velveteen Dream. WWE Very good match at NXT TakeOver War I'd Games. And Alistair Black no came out victorious. But with the extreme rule stipulation, what's to stop Alistair Black from doing whatever he wants? Adam Cole now with the kendo stick. When it's all said and done, Black fighting this match back. might just go down as the match of the pay-per-view. There it is. Shot to the Did head again. Crack? Now Alistair Black sitting on the shorter table. He is a one-man gang in there. Beautiful move. Alistair Black stepping out of the way. I've had whatever Adam Cole is planning up. there, I'm not you sure what he's planning. Like now going back right to work with the kendo stick, Again. running straight hey, Cole for him. with the kendo stick. And this could get messy very quickly. Cole with the reversal. The German he's suplex from the undisputed era leader. I'm not sure what Cole's going for here. Snap German slam. suplex. This is his opportunity to win this thing. He'll be Elbow the to the back of Alistair Black's while. head and a cover now he from Adam Cole. One. Oh, and Alistair Black wow. fighting What's strong in this match. Take? Hasn't taken as much punishment as Cole has, but Cole here can dish it out He's as well him. as he can take it. And it looks as if he could be lining up for the this finish. The super kick avoided by Black. German suplex into a hinge combo. A kick out. Ref will slow the count and pull kicking build. out. Wow, I thought for sure that was it. I'm not sure what else Black could have planned here. Hold on, guys. This isn't Pin good. Cole no on the top turnbuckle. Chorus asked the Black wants retribution against Adam Cole, but he doesn't need to go this far. This could land on the shouted table, the Falcon Arrow. That slam was powered by superhuman strength. And I honestly don't think Black is done here yet. Looking for some more weaponry. I believe another table being brought into play. I don't know how much more damage one person How much can more take. can Cole take? How, how much more can Black are. deliver? I don't know what Black's planning with this table, but <laughs> it doesn't look good. Fred and Cole, let me tell you that much. Cole coming to the outside. You Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. And now Black's on the no table. Now. I'm not Unleashes sure what breaker. Alistair Black is thinking here. But whatever it is, it can't be pretty. Oh, the reverse and Cole looking for a roundhouse Black. kick. Alistair Black Look equal out. to it. And this is just going to go anywhere and everywhere in this match. The action will... You won't be able to keep up with it, basically. Suplex on the outside like by Black. I don't think right that's why he wanted to put it at the table. I think this he's going for him, guys. Yeah, he's on dream to find street. somewhere else to put it at the table. Maybe in the ring. He's bringing it back inside the ring exactly now. like it. Bring that table up in the corner. And now just patiently waiting for Cole. There may be no coming back Alistair from Black this knows he's in control here. Down. Now back to the ring. Adam Cole, I think, knows that Alistair Black's is. in control here. I believe Black's going to look for a table break. Right, Cole sending Black into that table. And a drop kick through it. That could have Black down for good. Cole looking for the cover. Do it right there. True testament and Black, yeah, how is he kicked guys. out so quick? Following that drop kick through the table. I'm unsure, to be quite honest. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Strikes like that can end this one. Sending Cole back into the corner. Cole not having any of it. But missing the attack. That could be he detrimental. Adam Cole. Stomped by Black. Black mask strike. out of nowhere. And there it is, boys. Well, let's see I that again. I think that'll do it. Man, he is simply For Adam a Cole, walking baby. What's Alistair Black planning here? I think he's going to look to go for cover. No, he isn't. I think he's 
He's looking to deliver another black mass. Cole doesn't need this. He's just been laid out by one, and it's another black mass from Alistair Black. If that doesn't keep Cole down, I don't know what will. One, two. And he manages to get Adam a shoulder Cole gets up. a shoulder Can you up. This? this is what makes him one Two of the best straight in the black business. masses from Alistair Black and Cole might just be out, has managed guys. to I get agree. his shoulder he hasn't up. Moved one bit. Black's gonna be wondering what he has to do here now. If Adam Cole can just simply I don't know how much more these superstars can I think take. Black guys. looking You'd for that chair, but something's gotta give here I'm... soon. Nowhere to be found, apparently. Doesn't look like it. Cole coming out after Black. Back suplex on suplex. the concrete outside the ring. Well, the ring mat, but it's still very painful. Right yeah, you're not and win the many ring steps may look to come into play here. Alistair Black is going to have to do whatever it takes. We thought the two Black Masses, hell, one Black Mass would end Cole here tonight. But it hasn't seemed to work this out that way. Has been a war. Oh, clobbered by the steps. <laughs> Bit of a make you mistake there by both men. Alistair Black eventually connects him with a oh, stair shot to the, the back steps. as well. That'll make you reassess some things. Alistair Black looking for that chair. I don't think he can find it. What he has found, however, is a kendo stick. Another one. Boy, and this has just been try to get back up. Black with go to the back. Cole and with the reversal. Reversed. Straight to the gut. Cole was looking for that signature on the outside there. Black was equal to it. Managed to get out of dodge just in time. And now pounding Adam Cole on the outside of the ring. And the Black delivering some elbows back to Cole. Who, well, if you weren't watching here earlier in the match. Cole's delivered some elbows to Alistair Black, some might say that it wasn't busting him open. Now Black's going to take his revenge here. With an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or It's anything. not often, if ever, that Alistair Black bleeds. Back in the ring so again. when he does, it's big. He's still not moving, guys. He might be out, Cole. Cole looking, maybe, I don't know, a big impact move possibly to Alistair Black, but it hasn't worked. And now Black's caught Cole. Oh yeah, With here's Cole's line. Black. Devastating impact. Taking him a while to get up here. I don't, I don't know how Alistair Black left, remain Michael. calm here. Cole kicked out of two straight black masses. And he's still in this match. Incredible! There was a lot Shot to the back of the head one. by Alistair Black. There it no is. give behind this Kendall stick. Or the man using it. Putting all of his force behind it. And another knee to the face. If Alistair I Black. One more person, Adam tell Cole me about is definitely getting back this into this match. I think injured, the more punishment that Cole's taken, the more I mean, he's helped him want to get back in this match. And that's not good for Alistair Black. Oh, and again. Hey, Shot to the stomach. Working for you, right? he is a one -man gang in there. I believe Colin... Black Colin Cole to his yeah, feet. He hits this, the match is over. Cutter on the Kendo stick. I think he wants to incapacitate Adam Cole Black. on the outside now of the ring, which is a capitalize. smart move by Black. But how are you going to win the match? It doesn't look like Cole's willing to give up either. Going Black just relinquishes the hold. I, suspect he knows something that we don't, I don't know Cole. what Why Black is he thinking here. Who knows? Back now going on inside, inside that mind. He's calling for it. I think I know what's going on inside. I think we all know. Alistair Black setting it up. He's missed the black mass. Lightning fast. And it's reverses. And again, By Adam Cole. Unbelievable. Adam no Cole's reversed the day. black mass. And now a submission. Boston Crab. Oh, this is going to be painful. Half Crab is locked in deep. He's just about there. Black managing to fight out. I don't He's think Black is expecting this right now, Cole. from Adam Cole. So much power behind that punch. First the kick out from the two black masses, and now with the fight back, reversing a third black mass. 
Baku need to watch his he's steps now. And I think that's guys. exactly what he's doing. I Perhaps think that's why he's trying to keep it on the outside here, of the Cole. ring. So no sudden finishers from Cole can impact this match and impact whether Black wins or loses. Of course, Black has an undefeated streak in NXT right now. Really relying on that tonight. As does Cole, I believe. Oh, Actually, that's really a lie. Taking it to him. Man, this is not of course, good I, at also all. Black defeated Cole to qualify for the fail forward number one contenders match in NXT a few weeks ago. Oh, Cutter yeah, now on the Black. baseball bat by Black. That and might be it. just be it one, here. Two, three. Oh, I thought that was it. Look then again, the you could be wrong about things. Cole. He can't believe it. Oh boy, he is wrong. And that wasn't it at all. The punishment is going to continue, here, I'm afraid. And, and this match up, for both men. Good. I'm sensing a theme here, Cole. Cole runs to the outside, but Black is not having any of that. All Whoa. I need to recover. Yeah, he Bullshit. sure seems to like that, Michael. Maybe Black is much. just pounding the hell out of Cole with that baseball bat. Relentless so by Black, of course. He wants to put Cole down. Again, Again. Hey, like a couple of weeks ago. But he needs to be careful he here. Adam Cole I'm can definitely hit that super here, kick Cole. out of nowhere. As well as the snap German suplex. Black needs to be careful. Unrelenting. By Alistair Black. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. Hunt and Cole now saying you want some more. Oh, and again. Hey, stick with what's working for you. Not right? literally saying Whoa. it, of course. Just yeah, he sure seems to like that, Michael. Making it Maybe seem a little too much. as if that's what he's saying. Putting oh, down man. the bat, finally. But a clothesline. I believe Alistair Black has put all his and effort Byron, into those good spot back that shots. One. Yeah, that did some Exhausted big time damage, now. Michael. Just wearing down the arm. And Nelson Moore Gets it baseball bat punishment here, inbound Cole. for Adam Cole. Oh, and he lands it. Really relying on that tonight. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Just man, relentless. this is not good at all. Again. Alistair Black is like hey, a man possessed for. with that baseball bat. Whoa! Yeah, he sure seems to like that, Michael. Maybe a little too much. The unfortunate I think Alistair is Black is leaving Cole to recover up, now, and I'm not sure bit. why. Talk about a beating he's taken here tonight. But Alistair Black still somehow, somewhat calm, just waiting for Cole to make his move. I think we're at the point in this match where the finisher could be used Cole is at making any his move. here. Alistair Bla he got Black mass. Game, set, Cole match. rushed in. Fools rush in. Two. No, he kicks out Cole two still, and a half. How this is, is he taking all this punishment? Not where he wants to be right now. How can I yeah, take all this? You're not going to when you're down. Alistair Black thought he'd have this match well wrapped up by now. Thinking mm, him I'll good. go back and I'm watch Ember Moon here, and Shayna Baszler tear up the NXT Women's title. But he's still out here so damaging dangerous. the man who cost him possibly a chance at the NXT title. Another shot with the kendo stick. Continuing now. It was the guys. baseball bat before. It's the kendo oh, stick now. It. Really relying on that tonight. He definitely is Corey. Definitely relying on that weapon. And again. And look Every at the time Paul gets back up, Black puts him again. back down and look at in the his mark place. These kendo sticks are leaving. Again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. I don't know if Black can be stopped. He is a here. man possessed with weapons. Just destroying Adam Cole. Here. Unrelenting kendo Another stick shot shots. With the kendo stick. This can't go on for much longer, guys. The man himself. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good Isn't at all. stopping. It just isn't stopping this pressure he's from Black with the kendo. Cole. Defenseless. Really or oh, so tonight. we thought. Black putting him back down there. Darren Cole to get up. Uh, fourth black mass. If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. The unrelenting punishment from Alistair Black. It's all over. Ends the match in bloody brutal fashion.
very resilient Adam Cole. Like the guy or not, you've got to give it to him. But black was too much tonight. Four black masses is what it took. But Alistair Black, still victorious, still undefeated in NXT. That was a brutal, a lot more brutal than I expected it to be, if I'm completely honest here. The wait is over. This one's for up next. We're Marvels moving on to some women's action as Ember Moon would defend taking on some the NXT Women's Championship this against Shayna Baszler. Dream about. A chance for a title. Of course, not the winner of the May Young Classic, but a very prominent face. She's made a statement quite clear, attacking Kyrie Sane. And her intentions now lie with the NXT Women's Championship. Ember Moon, of course, defending champion, winning it back at NXT TakeOver War Games in a fatal four-way for the vac well, it was obviously a vacant title, defeating Kyrie Sane, Nikki Cross, and Peyton Royce. Before we continue this match, guys, just give me a second. I'm just going to get a quick drink because my throat is sore now. <laughs> So this was one of the matches that I'm on the fence about. But I think I'm going to go with Remember Moon in the first attempt because they booked her strong. Thank you, Mrs. Ducky Hugs, for the follow. I'm going to use her, uh, I'm going to use Baszler's May Young Classic theme because I don't know her actual theme. I don't know if she has an actual theme, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to be using the May Young Classic one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the NXT Women's Championship. Uh -oh. And Ember oh, Moon not waiting around. Wait we need to get some order back to this. This is the champion's advantage. Baszler play, those catching her. Ember Moon angry at what Baszler has done to her. And of course Kyrie Sane and many others since she debuted in NXT. But Baszler equal to the pre-match attack. Of course. Basler transitioning from an MMA career. Team Shayna. You, if it wasn't Shayna, I would say Ember Moon is winning this, is retaining the women's championship. But because Shayna got the match, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't say Team Shayna, but I am predicting Shayna this it. match. I like both of them. Ember Moon fighting back. Will we even have a women's title match? With Ember Moon backing off, which is not a smart idea with Basler. have all sorts of trouble. Close line now. Shayna Baszler taking it to the ring. Stomping Moon down before she can even stand. 
and we could have a new NXT Women's it, Champion very quickly here tonight. Going. Hey, when this match is said and done, we might very well be talking about its match of the year candidacy. The O'Connor roll German early. suplex and Ember kicking out. Easy. Yeah, it's gonna take more than that. Quickly. Just gonna get those early quick kickouts. Shows that you're not weakening early on. Shayna just throwing Ember against the ropes. Now top rope. I love how we've seen Shayna go top rope. She's wasting no time. Oh my God. Actually, this I'm gonna be honest, guys. I've never watched the May Young Classic. I was going to, but I haven't got around to it. So if she has gone top rope in the May Young Classic. Don't shoot me. Ember fighting back. Somehow that hasn't come as a reversal for the NXT Women Champ. Never mind, it has. I can't read. It's fine. Ember throwing Shayna off the ropes. Big drop kick reversed by Shayna. And she lands a straight right hand now. Elbow. And a headbutt. Two headbutts and a third headbutt. In quick the succession. Knocking the NXT Women's Champion up the mat. Like could do it early on here. And the champ kicks out. Just needs to do Baszler relentless. She's in a bad way here. Against Ember Moon. She's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Ember Moon maybe try to get Basil while she was taunting. That would be a good move from the NXT Women's Champion. Picking the arms. Basil fighting out really well. And just knocking Ember down with a series of strikes. Honestly, like this I said at the start, I'm on the fence about this one. I'm not sure who's going to win it. It might be too early for Shayna to win the NXT Women's title. But at the same time, how could she lose it? Realistically. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. Lifting Ember Moon back to her feet into the corner. Now got Shayna. Strong shot to the stomach. Ember fighting off the kick though. Small package. Driver. Can you I'm not sure the actual it? name of it. I'm just going to call it Small Package Driver. And it looks like a cover from Ember. Not sure what Shayna kicking out. A good time for Next a no trouble. Kick out yeah, one. Way too early to be going for the win. Ember knocking Shayna off, but down onto her, onto her face. And she turns it around on her. Now Shayna doing the same. Who knew the Shayna Baszler could high fly. Like you want to say Baszler. The champ looking absolutely defeated right now. Straight the champ in there with the drop kick. He goes one foot drop kick as well. The champ kicks out two, two count. Wow, I Amber Moon, I believe Ember Moon weakening really quickly. The hands of Baszler. Look at her go. Another strong shot. Oh, and a straight mark. kick. Been a rough night for her so far. Baszler knows she has this match in control. It's going to get a lot rougher if she doesn't get up. Like a cat playing with a mouse. Dropping Ember it. as if she's Here's dead pin. weight. That could be it. And there's a kick out at two Ember and a kicking out. Can you believe this? That could have so easily been it. Shayna seemed like she's been in control the entire time so far. Elbow dropped. Reversed by Ember. This, this could be where the NXT Women's Champion comes back into it. Not she's even a one count Just power on the out. challenger. Who Takeover knows, should be a really good show tomorrow. Spear tackle by Shayna Baszler. Be interesting at least anyway. Oh no, we've got a problem. I believe here, no kidding. Shayna looking for high next? impact. Ember Moon Look making sure that high impact doesn't happen. Okay, changing it up a little. Nice audible. That's knowing your opponent. Dropping Ember on the ropes after catching it from the top rope. Move the Ember can she deliver. Get back to her feet? And it More looks like Baszler's going to go. Right now. Top rope. Move of her own. Incoming. Elbow drop reversed by Ember Moon. Off the ropes comes Shayna. Spear so blocked by Ember. I think this is where the NXT Women's Champion comes back into the match. Or, well, that one. she tried, I guess. <laughs> Feet are on the ropes here for Shayna Baszler. It's over. No kick out 
Ember still kicking she out. out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Oh man, she is rolling but Shayna now. still needs to keep on the attack here. She might Ember be gets the advantage. She is dangerous. Given the punishment she's absorbed here tonight. Yeah, I'd agree with that assessment. Not today. Like that. You can't let her on the advantage for too long. Into the corner goes Baszler. She might have it. She is on fire. Springboard elbow. He works and slammed by power. Baszler. I believe calling. And we're back up to her feet again. She's done. And just dropping her again. With a mouse. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Baszler. Momentum certainly on the side of the number one contender. The champion here. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. We haven't seen Ember Moon punished like this ever. Looking Even in their match against Asuka. Baszler is still kicking out before the referee can start a count. I made New Year's resolution starts with watching the NXT episodes. It's nearly end of January and I still haven't yet. I still watch no, all the takeovers. So I'm going to start watching the NXT episodes. To because I actually want to know the build up like properly. Comes up big with the reversal. Ember reversing. Whatever Shane was planning there. Dropping Shane to the mouth like a bad habit. She's licking her chops. As they say. Ember calling Shane to her feet. She should stay where she is. That Tornado Springboard DDT, a smart move by Ember. Now we have Ember and Ember is taking over here against Shayna Baszler. And the Still match continues. Feels like Shayna is not feeling any of the punishment that Ember's delivering, and not surprising. Kick to the back now as Ember picks up Shayna looking to go. Here we go a second time. We're so that move again in the corner. Look at the look at her. She reverses the signature that Baszler was trying to deliver Michael. though. Lovely Hurricane Rana for the NXT Women's Champion. She's There's a reason she's the NXT Women's Champion. Been chasing it all goal. throughout 2017. Destroyed. Finally getting it at War Games back in November. She isn't going to lose it on her first defence if she has anything to do with it. This time finally connects. Takes close line. Wow, nice move right there. Is Ember going to go for the Eclipse? She's not picked the back. Small package again. And Driver form of by Ember Moon. She goes to Baszler the now. Uh, taking a break. Worried, She's trying to keep away from Ember at if the moment. Can just land the Smart move maybe by the challenger. Just luring Ember in. Hip toss. Elbow. I think Basil's looking to finish here. Ember getting up. Probably not the best idea you've ever had, Ember. Guys, when you have as trained an eye as I do, Wrapping Ember in the sleeper hold the here. Great vining. Really and Shayna Baszler could be That's well on her way wrote, to the NXT Women's Championship if she could just get either Ember to either pass out or tap out. I can't believe it. She let her out. I hate the question or somehow Ember hanging Why on. Why would you do that at this point in the match? Basically, she not counters with a move of her own. And she's back in the ring now. She's not playing Side any games slam. tonight. Everyone better watch Into out. Cover. And this has got to be it. Kick out by Basil. This time count one. You could tell the punch was having an effect now that she's not kicking out immediately. I don't know what Ember's planning, but it well, hasn't gone well for her. I think Ember is looking for the Eclipse. Drop kick instead. The champ to the top turnbuckle. And now the Eclipse. Oh, she's not getting up. Just pin her. Can this Shayna pick over. out of the Eclipse, or will Ember retain the title she's right here, tough, right now? But nobody's that tough. It wasn't the Eclipse. The champ 
to the top turnbuckle. Everyone's nervous about if Baszler is going to hit the eclipse or not. Sorry, Ember she Moon, I'm getting fucking confused. And it is the eclipse what a from Ember Moon. And that's how you successfully... Shoulders down, championship on the line. <laughs> Should have just kicked out of it as if it was a normal move. That might have hurt her ego. How was Shayna just kicked out of that as if it was a normal move? Shayna Baszler is something completely different. Something that Ember hasn't faced before. A tough time getting back Second rope now goes Ember. As you would expect, given what she's been through here tonight. Could be trouble for the challenger here. A few Drop inches kick, off there. Moved out. Just deadlifting. The women's okay, champion into a back suplex. Off. The power of Baszler I think we know what this may is. end the match here. Like Rocking Ember again. This one's over, guys. I think it's safe and if to she say gets that sleeper hold locked on again, which I think she champ. might, I think that's what she's going for here. It's going to be the end of the match. Regardless, you're going to have a new she's NXT sure Women's Champion. No, we're not. Ember fighting out. This could spell disaster here for the challenger. As Ember connects. Oh, and she drops hard. Things are looking pretty now. good for her now. Escapes trouble there. She's got Shayna Baszler now is to create some space so as Ember cup. could take this match. It's a problem with having it on Legends difficulty. You want the matches to go oh, long, but when they do, you want the matches right to the not go long. Incredible. Baszler with a leg drop off the top rope to the outside. Pretty new to wrestling, but she can deliver some of the best moves. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason Charging for this goal and moving to the barricade. Seconds away from tapping, I think. Look at this. She can do no wrong here. Basically catching Ember into an armbar. She can hear me spamming. I apologize. Four. Five Corey, count. What do you think of this Basically decision? Basically, not want to get herself like it a lot. or the champion she counted out. Wants to inflict even more punishment here. She's struggling big Might be time right here, guys. Wrestling, but she's smart enough to she break the count. She's getting destroyed. Reverses that one. Two. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Moon putting Bezos face into the apron. Four. Realistically, if Ember Moon wants to return the title, she needs to throw Shayna Bezos back into that ring and hit that eclipse again. So I'm pretty She's sure no one kicks out the second eclipse. We may have a count out here, guys. Baszler. It certainly looks that way, Michael. Take, taking advantage again for Ember into the ring. Not this time. Messing up there, but Spear so takes her down with authority. By Shayna Baszler. Like a ton of bricks that time. Reversal she by Ember. With reversal. Clobbers her with a vicious overhand. Baszler moves. taken down, and it looks the like the Eclipse could be inbound. It looks like it is. It looks like it isn't. Look at this. Ember going for the move anyway, and it's cost her here. Two. She's been caught by Shayna. On the floor. And Shayna just punishing that arm. Giving Ember less chance to live with that Eclipse. Smart move by the, the challenger here. Continuously working on the arm. I know how these superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. Of course, the referees count is count is six. Shayna well aware. And she she knows that she can't moving. win the title off the count out. She can recover from this goal. She must do. She's going back out to the outside of the ring. Definitely does. That one misses big time. Better luck next time. Ember's lost all she control here. Baszler beat down on the outside. Or it was. Until Ember fought back for us. Baszler into that LED post. Time is of the essence here too, Michael. Oh, elbow she drop. Gets with the elbow. Of course, Ember can win. Well, can retain the title. 
on account of her disqualification. But of course, ring. she doesn't want to do that. She wants to get the victory after everything Baszler's done. Not every move is designed to her get the and to Kyrie Sane. Baszler's not cut Ember in the ropes. The 10 beats Looks of the MMA. Like the Even though I don't think that's 10. Right and a shot straight to the head. You don't teach that <laughs> in wrestling. Showing some quickness there. Ember catching the kick, and it looks like Boston Crab maneuver. The single leg Boston Crab. Shayna trying to make it to the She's ropes. She's got her where she wants her. Ember applying all the pressure in the world. Shayna can't make it to the ropes. She's strength the out of it. helps her fight the out. Here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Now clubbing Moon back to the mat. She needs to be She's careful here. That one, Corey. You can say that again. Lucky he thought she would have springboards, but I guess not. <laughs> Hip tossed by Shayna oh, on the outside. I think Shayna knows exactly what she's doing now. We have seen her here before. Plan this out. It's just a matter Throwing of time now. Ember Moon the halfway across the here. arena. Might as well have been. Back now inside Into the, the ring, ring. Inside goes the Ember. Ring and this has got to be it. She's got her in her sights. That sleeper hold looks like it's inbound. And it is the sleeper hold. Baszler has no got to have Moon here. That might just There's no be breaking the out. Shayna Baszler is the new NXT Women's Champion. This is unbelievable. The championship changes Taylor. Those moments there. Where Shayna could have lost that and Ember could have retained, especially that eclipse, which we may see on the highlights. Well, ladies and gentlemen, new NXT Women's Champion. Incredible match by both women. And Baszler not done. Of course, she wanted to win the NXT Championship, but she also wants to know, well, for everyone knows, NXT and main roster, I suppose, that she will not be messed with. She will not be overlooked. She hits her with a wicked elbow. Baszler knocking down Ember to the mat. I believe. She's looking at it. I don't know what she's doing here. Just deadlifting just the former NXT up. Women's Champion now. Ember Moon losing that belt as you just saw. No choice but to tap out to the sleeper hold of Shayna Baszler. The new NXT Women's Champion, of course. And that's we might be not it. Shayna here. looking there may be no to finish Ember for slam, good. Ball. Maybe put her out for a while. I think another sleeper hold. I think uh -oh, got him in the Ember was out from the first one. So Shane has got to make sure Jeez, that Ember like won't Ember be getting back up. In this one. And that's definitely what's happened here tonight. But will there be a new NXT Women's Champion at the real, the real thing, the real takeover event? I guess we'll see tomorrow night. But for now, we're going to move on to the next match of the card Stay tuned because the fourth up next match is the, the card the ultimate match, match. We have the, authors of pain the NXT Tag Team Championship I'm pretty sure I put Paul Big Eller in, in the Authors of Pain's corner but I guess <laughs> it's just been disregarded I had Ember Moon which I guess is okay 
Ember Moon tried to get whatever advantage she could, especially after everything Shayna Baszler has done to her. And you can't blame Ember Moon for that, but obviously it didn't work. Shane has been crowned the new NXT Women's Champion. And for this match, I would pin their NXT Tag Team Championships. I've already predicted the main event, but I can't make the main event thing that I want to happen, happen. Because you can't do interferences mid-match. Which sucks. Because if you could, I think everyone can guess <laughs> what I'm thinking. If you can't, then I'll let you guys in on it in the main event. But for now, focusing on the NXT Tag Team Championships, I have gone with the basic NXT TakeOver. For anyone wondering, I've said it, I said this at the beginning, anyone tuning in just now, I did use the basic NXT TakeOver arena because there isn't a... Well, I got the Philadelphia one, but I've got the NXT TakeOver matchup screen and the NXT TakeOver cutscene thingy because there isn't a Philadelphia one, obviously. But without any further ado, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let these tag teams come out. I'm going to let them do their thing. Oh, Paul Eller and this coming out. Even though his feet are kind of stuck in the entrance way, but we'll, we'll ignore it. We just saw new NXT Women's Champion get crowned. Will we see new NXT Tag Team Champions? Of course, the authors of pain, former Tag Team Champions. Shit, shit, shit. Theme issues. Theme issues. Johnny Gargano wants to come out early. No, Coming no. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, yes. is our no. tag team no. championship match. Yeah, there we go. And this is the one I've been waiting for all day, Cole. What these teams can do inside that I thought I had an order next on my playlist thingy. I didn't, basically. <laughs> There's a story behind that. But anyway, after a couple of technical difficulties, the Undisputed Era, the new NXT Tag Team Champion, walking out. Of course, defeating Sanity. To win these tag belts. Okay, well... Spotify just crashed, so we won't be in the rest of that theme. It's already fucked up already. Fucking fuck. Excuse my language, but I'm a little irritated. Don't know why my Spotify decided to crash, but... Regardless, if they win, we'll hear their theme at the end. Anyway, Adam Cole will not be with him tonight after that bloody, brutal match he had with Alistair Black not too long ago. Which Alistair Black, of course, was victorious after four... Black masses for ladies and gentlemen. Introducing most the people kind of take one at a combined weight of 620 pounds. Akum and Razor, the offers of pain. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 397 pounds. They are the NXT. Tag Team Champions, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. 
Fisher. Kyle Orvia and Bobby Fisher. Ladies and gentlemen, you're new <laughs> NXT Tag Team Champions. But in realist, in all honesty, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, one of the best indie tag teams, came to NXT in the summer. Back at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3, I want to say. Of course, debuting, attacking Sanity and their opponent tonight, the Office of Pain. It's been quite a cool triangle feud once right, you think about it. And man, I never get tired of watching you actually go these back through the feud. And here we go for the city Sanity beat the Office of Pain we'll for the NXT one. tag titles back at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. O'Reilly and Fish came in and attacked them both. Oh, I think this man means business. Following that, they had the NXT TakeOver War Games match, where it was Sanity, Office of Pain, well, with Roderick Strong, and of course, the Undisputed Era. Then fast forward to the NXT Tag Team title match where Sanity defended and lost to the Undisputed Era. And now we're back at the beginning with the Undisputed Era defending against Authors of Pain. Of course, the Authors of Pain, former Tag Team Champions, like I mentioned, won the titles all the way back at NXT TakeOver San Antonio this time last year. He's a year ago, they became the NXT Tag Team Champions. Defend it, defeating DIY, what made him think that former DIY, idea. which interestingly enough, one half of DIY, the former DIY, Taking is in the main the event tonight, here. fighting for the NXT title. Well, I have a prediction about the other, and I think you guys can guess it. How's that for ferocious? Of course, like Ikram and Rizar continuing move. to hold the tag titles, defending against DIY and the Revival in a triple threat match before defending once again against DIY in a ladder match and losing to Sanity. Of course, as we said, These two work so well together. beautiful double team maneuver there. Absolutely. Of course, Kyle Riley and Bobby Fish know each other very well. Not made. only been oh, teaming since they joined the way, WWE, Michael. since they joined NXT, but since before that, back in Ring of Honor. Very proficient tag team. I don't know if they have a tag team finisher. I'm assuming. Well, I do know they have a tag team finisher, but I didn't, don't know if A, if it's in the game, or B. Well, I, I didn't put it on them, so I can't use that as a thingy. But I don't know if it's in the game. And now Bobby Fish. Looking to get some extra punishment on Akam. Wasn't a smart idea. Kyle O'Reilly from the top kick. rope. Akam did not see that coming. Sorry, Rizar, my bad. Don't confuse. Rizar did not see that coming. No part of the outside. Numbers game. By Undisputed Era here. Usually it would be a three on two. But due to uh, a lot of bleeding from Adam Cole and his brutal match with Alistair Black earlier. Bringing it back into the it's ring. just a two on two. But it still feels like there's a numbers advantage for the Undisputed Era. Just the fact that when one man gets knocked down, the other man comes in and helps. O'Reilly tagging into Fish. That's a great example of High and low right there. by Fish and O'Reilly once again. And it looks like a cover now Can on Mazar. Want to get this over and over quickly. It's a good kick out by Rizar. So if anyone's watching still, I hope you are enjoying this NXT TakeOver well Philadelphia executed. prediction stream. Hopefully... I've actually had some pretty good matches in this uh, simulation. Hopefully, the good in real life. I'm sure it will be. I'd probably this be a lot different to so what mine are because, of course, right I can't do interferences or anything. To pick a I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the of course, I feel like the Undisputed Era would have uh, interfered in Adam Cole's match earlier on. Paul Ellering putting a chair in the ring. But, I mean, they're not heels anymore. Why would they put, why would they put a chair in there? A frightening attack on the jaw. Maybe it's for the Undisputed Era. Maybe Paul Ellering is turning against his clients. Maybe that would happen. Maybe that might happen. That would be cool. I, I doubt it, but that would be... Can you... Legit. Just... Legit. Who am I fighting here? I, I don't even know I'm fighting anymore. I'm so lost. I'm so fucking lost. I'm still targeting... Rizar, I didn't realise he tagged out. I'm so lost. <laughs> Net breaker to Rizar. For some fucking reason. Bobby Fish fighting off Akam as well. What can't this man do? 
using that chair that Ellen brought in. And the ref hasn't called for disqualification, so I assume that it's okay that the Undisputed Era have used it. Ellen brought a chair in after all, so I suppose it's fair play. Oh, and he Elbow it. to the head. O'Reilly trying to boot Akum in the face. Akum just takes him down. Lobbering. In a major way too. Kyle O'Reilly. Oh man, what a hit! Knocked right off the apron. Fish tried to give assistance on the outside. To no avail at the moment. A punishing. Also, pain of Gale, uh, Ga Gale gained control of this match. O'Reilly oh, with a reversal. Like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. Bending the arm of Akam on the uh, top rope there. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. And comes Perhaps Bobby Fish. Just, a little possum here, I can tell this stream's gonna get copyrighted, but I don't make money from what I do anyway, so I'm not too bothered. Connects with a counter. Well, don't, don't take the video down. Oh, cool. he's able to reverse it. On, he's one step ahead on that one. Wondering what I'm uh, referring to. Just going to take it down with a belly to back suplex. Bobby Fish is in trouble, in deep trouble here at the hand of the Office of Pain. And he lands a nice Tagging counter. quickly out to Kyle O'Reilly. Smart idea here, Byron. by Bobby no, Fish. O'Reilly just about the fresher man of the, the team. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. Try a cheap shot Rizar, but Rizar is ready for it. Very agile for a big man. Should not really think again before trying that. The chop. Chopping down the big tree that is Akam in the corner. Jawbreaker jaw by Kyle O'Reilly. Jaw, head, brain, all of it. Now gonna go for another cheap shot. He's Ten. not getting up. And it's you worked and almost like right went in straight into Paul Ellering on the outside. And he gets Reverse him with the by counter. Akim. No, He's been this match for quite a while now. He needs to tag in Ray's arm. He's making his presence felt there. He's pressing all the right buttons there. Strong no close line. Now. Kyle O'Reilly. He's just chilling because he knows He'd be smart he's got his match in control. He and now the sleeper. Much I'm not sure what you actually call that move, but a really cool move. I actually really like Because you can just Showing very go few into it, transition into here. it, no problem. Yeah, and now Kyle O'Reilly getting tagged in. Looking, Might as well ring the bell now. Sorry, Kyle O'Reilly tagging out. Bobby Fish coming in looking to do some damage. More damage to Aikum while he's... Well, while he is damaged. Need to the gut. Look at him move. really needs that tag. I mean, Spoon Sidera need to make sure that Aiken doesn't make that tag. STO. I thought it was going to be an STO. It's a backbreaker. Russian leg sweep combination. Oh, man, what a hit. Not Bobby right Fish and Kyle O'Reilly are definitely not letting Aiken out. Now, uh, Bobby Fish is going to work with the haymakers and the elbows. Guys, when you have as on the former eyes, tag team champions here, where you can see namely Aiken, before it actually comes, and right now, to something here. It's coming, and it's coming very soon. Few superstars a Bobby are as Fish as this guy. I believe this finisher is called the Fish Hook. I'm not sure what the finisher actually is, but he's got a leg lock here. The ropes, the Definitely in the ropes. Michael, the long arms of Aiken, so close to the saving ropes. him there. Of course, like I said, I don't have a tag team finisher because I didn't know who was in the game and I didn't have time to put him before I stream. No reverses it. Not so fast. Aikum try to fight out desperately. It was a roundhouse kick. Enziguri, my apologies. By Bobby Fish. Uh oh. This could spell disaster. It looks like. Akam may the actually be able to fight out and tag his he tag team partner here. Russian leg sweep. I don't think he Russian wants to tag his tag team partner. It's a Russian leg sweep here. Akam's calling for the finish. Could be last chapter time for Bobby Fish if he doesn't watch out. He's in a tough that would not be good for the current reigning tag team champions. Akam has suddenly got a second win just 
throwing Bobby Fish about everywhere. Yeah, tough for him to fight back from this. O'Reilly oh, going is get up top. Back to his feet, which is clearly easier said than done. Look at this. O'Reilly try to run interference. Hasn't worked. But He's too quick for him there. He's distracted. They come long enough for Bobby Fish to no, get back in this. It. And it looks as if the last chapter could occur here. Tagged in. It's just a, I don't think we're going for the last chapter, which is lucky for, um, I guess, lucky when you look at it, for Bobby Fish. But they've just done multiple knees. An extra knee to the gut for Bobby Fish. Whoops, not even close. What close line out of desperation, and now Bobby Knocked Fish needs to make feet. it to Kyle O'Reilly, but Ellering not letting Still it happen. Trying to get back to his feet here. Ellering He's is distracted by Bobby Fish right here. Now. Smart move by man. the manager of Russell Zapain. And it looks like O'Reilly trying to run interference any way he can. Bobby a Fish is getting destroyed now by Russell Zapain. Bobby Fish just needs to fight out and make it to his tag team partner. And now, multiple kicks to the chest by Bobby Fish. This will definitely cut the big Tag tree down. Championship up for grabs. Which now team Bobby. wants it more? Kyle, please. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, Bobby guys. Bobby Fish no, finally getting the tag in to Kyle O'Reilly. Connects with the boot. Oh man, what a hit! Razor off the apron. Off the apron. Uh, sorry, off the apron. Razor now in trouble. He might have it. It looks like a leg lock, an ankle lock. Great fight in the ankle lock here is Kyle O'Reilly. And it looks it. as if the odds of pain are going to have to Rezar tap out recover. here. Rezar try to fight for as long as he can. There's nothing Ellering can do because Akim is out on the floor. There is nothing Rezar can do except just take his punishment and try and use his strength and power to get out of it. And it looks as if Kyle O'Reilly has it sunk in deep. Kyle O'Reilly refuses to let go. Rezar unable to get out. I Aikum, think there are two teams I'd I think he's losing his partner. Each other right now. But this look at Rezar crawling, clawing, scratching for a way to break out of this. Whoa, and Kyle Riley has realized it's evidently not going to tap out. But right. look at Rezar's legs now. Ellering once again getting the attention of Kyle O'Reilly. He might want to go for a pin after that. I think Aiken may have passed Tag out. Sorry, Rizar may have passed out. Which team and I think it's going to be an advantage now. Ellering getting involved on the outside. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, Do I have to fight Paul Ellering or fuck himself? What? Ellering has been ejected from ringside. Kyle but feel if Adam Close out here be doing the exact same things around the speed there. As Ellering is doing for the office of pain. On the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. Targeting the wrong the man is Kyle O'Reilly. Bobby Fish tried to strike the referee. And he lands a nice counter. Oh, boy, oh he is the heck. Wrong. The undisputed there are going to retain these tag team championships without their, well, without their leader, Adam Cole. Oh, Took his head off. Horrible clothesline by Rizar. I don't know what Rizar is planning. He can't go for the last chapter as Aikum is out on the floor. But what I can do is continue to wear down the undisputed era. Zeroing in on the shoulder now. He's not going to And like maybe this. he can go for the finisher. And maybe he will go for the finisher. And maybe he has gone for the finisher. The power bomb reversed cliche, but it's true here. by Kyle O'Reilly. That could have been disastrous. The for the undisputed there, a jawbreaker. He goes for the jaw. Busted open. Looking to make a much needed. Bizarre. And he tags and now his Aiken. partner in. Momentum Chris has certainly shifted here, Michael. Kyle O'Reilly is just taking down straight away so he can't fight back. But I don't think that's going to stop the steam train. There's the other half of the offer's pain. Known as Akim. And if he hits this, this one's over. 
Thunderous Russian leg sweep by Akam. The Russian Can leg sweep by Akam. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. I don't know what Mizar is planning here. Sorry, what Akam is planning here, but he hasn't noticed he's Bobby fishing behind. Here, no, he's got to get up, but he's got to get up now. Maybe he has. He knows he's in trouble. He hasn't kept he his attention on him, that'll and that's time. given Bobby Fish Byron, just a chance to strike or Kyle O'Reilly the covers. It taken. looked as if Rizar was going for, sorry, Aiken was going for his powerbomb. I'm getting confused with the names. It looked as if Aiken was going for his powerbomb there. But luckily, saw that one coming. Ain't no stopping him now. Fish was in the ring. To run interference, luckily for to be an error. Reversal by Aiken. Kyle O'Reilly looked for his signature. Around. He clearly did his homework heading into tonight. But now Aiken cannot reverse. And this could be trouble for the office of pain. Kyle O'Reilly looking for something big. Hold on, guys. To this down. isn't good. No the big man even more. Cold. All these men maybe on their last legs. They've taken each other to the limit the so far in this match. Delivering the name. And now the other off of the pain. Busted open. Aiken got cut. Just above his eye, counter. I believe. And it looks as if a power bomb is going to happen. Rope breaks the hold there. The rope break stops the pin. That doesn't stop Bobby Fish from He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here. Bobby Cole. Fish just trying to keep his team in the match here. Trying to keep hold of those tag team titles. Of course. Undisputed Era have the championship the advantage. They could the try and get themselves flat out. They could try and get themselves disqualified. Oh, and he reverses it. Bobby Fish, Sunset Flip Powerbomb. Fish forgetting he's not the legal man. Oh, no, another job I'm just going to fucking make sure that Fish gets out of the ring so there's no disqualification. I don't even know he's in the ring anymore, to be quite honest. I think it might be Rezar. Fisher is tagged in. I guess we'll see here. I believe they're going to go for the high and low once again. Teamwork That's at its correct. Best. I feel like the tag team was on them, so. He has him right where he wants him. I believe Fish. I believe this is what is called the Fish hook. I'm not oh, entirely sure. Knee it's a knee weapon. straight to the head. And it looks like the Undisputed Era have retained their NXT. Tag Team Championships here tonight. Very incredible fast-paced tag team match. Officer Payne could have won out on a couple of occasions, including that power bomb from Acom. Luckily, O'Reilly was in the ropes. Both teams destroying each other for the championship. Guys, I have to say, that was an impressive win. If you're not feeling good about yourself after a win like that, you better get yourself checked. As we saw here. Whether you like him or hate him, you've got to admit that all three members of the Undisputed Era have had incredible matches tonight. Some have won, some have lost. We've been waiting a long time for this but one. In the end, the championship is up they for grabs why right here. Next. They really are in the future we have one of, our of NXT. Now we're on to the main event. Of course, Johnny Gargano qualifying for, well, winning this title match, well, title opportunity. Through a fail four way. Of course, we mentioned the fail four way earlier. Black, Alistair Black, distracted and could not win the fail four way. But the man who did win was Johnny Gargano, who challenged Andrade the Chen Almas in a rematch for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. Of course, back at NXT, 
NXT br- TakeOver Brooklyn 3. Got kind of lost the match due to Almas's manager, Zelina Vega, as you see there, throwing in a DIY shirt, which gave Almas enough time to capitalize. And now, I'm going to spoil something here before we get into the match. I think that Almas will retain, but not by himself. I think what will happen is Gargano will be on the verge of becoming the NXT champion, and Tommaso Ciampa will return and cost his former tag team partner the NXT championship, which will lead to the feud that we've all been waiting for since Ciampa got injured way back in May. Eight months in the waiting, I think it's finally going to happen. I think the seeds are going to finally be planted at NXT TakeOver Philly. And I think it's going to have a, there's going to be a match at NXT TakeOver WrestleMania, whatever they're going to call it. I think it's going to stretch on further from there. Either that or Gargano wins a title in the feud of the title, but I don't see that happening. I think Almas is going to retain and Champ is going to interfere and cost Gargano the title. That's just me. I don't know what you guys' predictions are. Uh, what you guys have as predictions. If you guys have predictions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you guys don't want to put them in the chat, that's totally cool too. But without any further ado, we're on the main event. Let's stop delaying and get into it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the NXT Championship. Let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. How dare I forget? I've been looking forward to this match for a long time. Well, Byron, this is it. This is the match we've been waiting for. He's worked so hard to get to this point, Michael, and for his sake, I hope he's ready because I assure you, these opportunities don't come around very often. all the fans here behind Gargano and here comes the NXT champion coming of course as you've seen the back by Zelina Vega to look at a champ's face tells the story of a man eager to get this match underway. Considering who he's in the ring with tonight, he might not want to be so excited. Matches like this, I really wish there was mid-match interference, but alas, there isn't. So, Andrade Almas, of course, a champion. Ever since Zelina Vegas burst on the scene, Introducing Almas's the fortunes have changed. From Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Introducing the champion. From Mexico, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the NXT champion, Chen Adrian Allen. Chen Adrian Allen, ladies and gentlemen. There's your NXT champion. I don't know. I don't. It's the names that fucking WWE give you to pick. But anyway, regardless, Andrade Chen Almas won that title at the last NXT title, which take over which of course was war games defeating drew mcintyre and putting drew mcintyre out of action with the torn biceps hopefully mcintyre's back soon 
He's like an out. He's like one of the you know the long shots or an outside favorite or whatever you call it for me to appear in the rumble. All right, Hello, Jumping Angel. Welcome off. to the stream. Man, You've just come in for the main event racing, of the NXT Takeover Philadelphia yeah, Productions. Here tonight, but that doesn't mean he isn't prepared to give the champion a run for his money. Oh, Mask, Plant and Gargano on the mat. Ever the since, like I said, ever since Zelina Vega has come around, I was just fortunate to change. There's on a losing streak, but when she came in at Brooklyn, he ironically, almost in the match against Gargano. What has to and be going through almost, the mind of Allen right now? Like I said earlier, was victorious in that match. What can we expect from the champ here? Well, he is the defending champion. Not only that, but good luck taking that title away. It was thanks to Zelina Vega that he was look, victorious. Done, and once again, Zelina Vega helped him to the NXT to title, the and that brings us to where we are today. Of course, like I said, Gargano qualifying for a fatal four match. It was Killian Day and Oscar Bright joining Gargano. I don't remember who else was in that match, actually. It's kind of bad. I want to say that Velveteen Dream, to connect. but Great I don't think it was. Him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. The fuck is this? Okay, it looked like a version of the uh, Mandible Claw. And it looks as if Almas is wait, lying in wait, or standing in wait, I guess, for Gargano to make a move. Showing off that vertical. And he did. Gargano getting back to his feet. And almost with the axe handle to the back. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's they're just used to send a message. Selena Vega getting physically involved here. Back in from Gargano the back in the ring. There's a reason I threw him out. It's because I wanted by count out, you stupid. I mean, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm um, now back offense. in the ring. Like He's going to find a way to fend off the champ here. Almost can continue the punishment or preserve the punishment. Sure punishment. Gargano running net breaker. That's what he wants to avoid here. The good news for him is that he doesn't now, appear to Irish have taken too much offense up the to champion this point. Of the champion off the ropes. Looking for Enzo Gurish. the way by Almas. Who catches Gargano. Into a Perfectly suplex. Executed. Very nice suplex from the NXT champion. And I was thinking the Comes whole day. Who would, oh, who's going to win this? Who would I predict who to win this? Because I couldn't. Decide between either of, either of them. Most of the day I've been thinking the Gargano, but then I, I right watched now. the video and it made some good points about how Champ could come point. back the and cost Gargano. Like, yeah, actually, that's, absolutely insane. that's really smart. Apparently, Almas right can't now. go top rope. But yeah, that's that's a very good point. Champ is scheduled to return pretty soon. In position for a Why not act? Take and over. Not a good place to be, Gargano catching Almas in the power, power bomb. bomb position now. Almas not fighting out the fireman's carry. This point in the match. Almas doesn't have rollups either. I was actually going to try win by rollup quite a few times, but well, he doesn't have it. I mean, got to fix some of the abilities on Almas. The next takeover. Should he? Well, should he be in it realistically? Gargano's already got comeback. Looking at it here. Barely in the Kicks match out, here, a one count. Attempt. And we continue. From Andrade Almas. Not where he wants to be right now. Almas yeah, is in control here of Gargano. Despite Gargano somehow having more momentum. I think I'll, uh, Almas is momentum for me in the stats. Probably lower. Flips the script on him there. Reversing Gargano there. Gargano looking for back suplex, a bulldog the reversal, and now Almas. Here. Take complete control the here. Of the end here for the all challenger. the time in the world. Guys, it's a wonder he's even able to stand at this point. If I'm the referee, I'm, sure this I'm main event, actually considering to be stopping this match. Something else main event. Boy, this point, but he's gonna need it's an NXT title. I don't see why he would have this main event. This match. Big elbow from Chien. Right into the center of the here's the pin. Cover on Johnny Gargano. Oh man, I thought he a had kick him. Out. I can't believe what we're seeing half. here. Doesn't show didn't any signs of getting up here, guys. This much. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. Yeah, this didn't know how much control he would have. Balmas. And he gets him with a counter. Sorry, I yawned there. That's why I went silent. Almas, so far, has kept control of Gargano. Gargano tried to come back early on in this match. It's not a smart idea. 
remember the last shoulders down. Cover once again by Alma. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. I'm just and goes to come back down on now in a signature. Included. Oh boy, he is rolling. Lovely reversal into the hip toss from the challenger here. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. He is a one-man gang in there. Almas intercepting whatever Gargano is planning and an inverted DDT by Almas could end this match early. Ropes. Gargano has his feet on the ropes. The frequency of this move is becoming deliberate at this point, to say the least. Gargano flipping Almas over the ropes. They're going to call an Almas back into the ring. He's trying to mangle his face here. It wasn't a smart idea down. by Gargano because now Almas is back in the ring and back future. in control. Showing very few signs of life here. Yeah, there's no El way Idolo, he back from this. The well NXT the champion. Nope. Of we went over it. how he won it. Pinned Drew McIntyre back it at NXT Takeover here. War Games. No, he kicks I'll be with a little bit of help half. from the I'm lovely lady inside Luna Vega. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry but to get up here. It wins a win, especially when it's for the title. I believe Chen looking for submission here on Gargano, and it could end it here early on. Gargano's had little He's to no offense. There. There must be something in the back of his mind about Champa, because Champa's meant to be coming free. back soon. Nice, but he and Gargano knows this, but he can't let it get here. to him if he wants to become a new NXT champion. Not today. Also, Almas has been on top form so far. Allen beginning to stumble a Gargano. His championship reign may very well be Drop kicking Almas. Thread. Almas rolling to the outside. Would take a little break. Not if Gargano will allow that. But I don't think he will somehow. Oh, Try to punch reversal. almost the outside. Almost not the top rope. I forgot about that shit. For some reason, he can't the top rope. So, knee to the back by Chen. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this point, Cole. And I believe a leg lock of some sort. Inverted leg lock, I he's think. Truly mastered that by Almas. Just. Submissions after submission after submission. No, working down the part, the working down the body the of uh, Gargano. Parts of the body with those submissions. It's a smart move. Whether it'll work or not is yet to be seen. Backstabber into the crossface. I'm quite sure we're almost at the bank statement. Ain't no yeah. stopping him now. Taken down to the mat. Leg sweep by Gargano. And Gargano. Down. Face first goes Almas off the signature. Left, guys. And this could spell trouble for Chen. Oh boy, he we know Gargano likes to employ that cross face. And we know they'd love to do it oh man, to Chen. In his corner now. But, but it looks like at the moment here. it's not going to happen. I think Chen's just going to try and end this as quick as he can. Hammer lock DDT. Busted up in his over. Gargano. And that might be all that she wrote for the NXT Championship, ladies and gentlemen. Quickly into the cover with a title on the line. Wow, that was close, so a close. Kick out Can you believe at what two. How was Gargano today? kicked this out by Hummelock DDT? Well, if he can't that is get ridiculous. Back to his feet, you're absolutely right. It's going to take a lot more than one to boot Gargano right, away, I feel. Now a Boston Crab on Chen what Almas an here. Stretch. Of course, Almas hasn't been affected too much of this match so far. Easily breaking out. Gets out of the submission. Gargano has not Michael, got started not in this match. That and that's not like Gargano at all. He has busted up in the NXT champion here. Or the NXT champion. Fights back once again. Power slam. Will this into be the cover. Two. Another kick out from Gargano. Of course we know how resilient Gargano really is. It's just a matter of 
how much punishment can he take? Can he take enough punishment right to want to win the NXT title? Of course, we saw El Idolo defeat He's Drew. Torres bicep with a hammerlock DET. Same fate could happen to Gargano if he's not careful. Chen has been in complete control since the starting bell. Doesn't look like that's going to stop anytime soon. Gargano has had his shots in on Almas, but they haven't been powerful enough. They haven't kept Chien down. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. And this is fine for Almas. Almas would just walk out here and retain the title. Gargano's the one that needs to come get it. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Almost a spot to him here. A count out here. Another nah, chance to get cheap shot on Gargano. The wise move by the NXT champion. As we get the move while he can. Gargano is bleeding all down his body. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. He's continuing to punish. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. Gargano here. How has Gargano not had... How has Gargano had next to no offense in this match? There must be something going on inside his head to do with Tommaso Ciampa. Him, guys. Yeah, he can't just... Dream Street. He can't just be starting like this. Almas has had an easy night of it, and Gargano doesn't give anyone an easy night of it. When he's on his game. Almas has busted open as well. I didn't even notice that. Another kick out by Johnny Gargano. But why is he's not fighting back? He is now. Here we go. Almas. Every time Gargano tries to fight back in this match, Almas has got it covered. Almas knows. How to put Gargano back down. And I think that's the issue that Gargano has been dealing with this entire match and so far. Goes for it a second time. Almost just methodically putting down Gargano. He tried the hammerlock DDT, of course, already. But Gargano kicked out of that. An arm drag. Butt -kicking right here. What does El Idolo have to do? To keep Gargano down. Nicely the executed. Asking today, Looks I feel. Like another victory for the champ, Michael. He's in trouble. No, Chianalis. Go for another hammerlock DDT. I think he may have it here. The DDT is the I, think, of the end. I don't think Gargano's kicking out. Needs to hurry here. I really don't. He may get the three count right there. I just, I just hit him with a second hammerlock DDT. I don't know how much more damage he's kicked out again. Take. I don't care how tough you are. Johnny Gargano has had next no offense, but he sure is fucking resilient. I'll give you that. Perfect timing. Hurricane Rana. Now Almas doing whatever it takes. He's got his feet out of the rope, so ref hasn't One, seen it. Gargano two. doesn't know either, well, I he but it is a kick out. Sure. He needs to change something from Johnny fast, Wrestling. Guys. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Lovely reversal by Chien. Smooth transition. An DDT. And that should be Man, all. Man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment there, but not anymore. Over and over and over. How many times are we going to see it? I think... Oh man, what a hit. Knocked Almas right wants to do some long-lasting punishment. He doesn't want to just He's win. Moving, he doesn't want to just he beat be Gargano. He wants to get Gargano out of action. Get him off his back for good. Gargano's been a thorn in Almas' side ever since backside. TakeOver Brooklyn 3. Here it comes. He's got him. I think he's going to look for that hammerlock you know DDT. DDT. Out on the outside. That and that should be it. Here we go. Almas back is more than happy to win by count out. He's willing to hold on to that title however he can, realistically. 
Gargano getting up at the count of six, but I don't think it'll be enough. Guys, when you have as trained an eye as I do, I get think to it's too late for Gargano to get up. He is getting up, though, on one knee. Seven count. And it's coming very soon. Gargano getting back in. How the hell is one man so resilient? That move at this juncture of the match makes the Gargano's intention taking down Almas here. To be I little. think he's going to work and hold him here. Got the arm. And chain wrestling here by Johnny Wrestling himself. Almas can't keep up with the chain wrestling. This and the challenger here. Except for one occasion, he's actually managed to fight out. Almas is beating Gargano to the punch there. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. Yeah, okay. It's just part of the game. Avoids trouble there. Oh, the back suplex attempt from Shian Almas. He's going back to an old friend with that one. There's the suplex. Counted it. To take charge in this match. What a devastating splash. Gargano's down. Almas is down. Gargano to his feet first. It might be a cover here for the NXT so title. Johnny Gargano. Almas kicking out pretty quickly, pretty swiftly. And all surprise. No and all, well, it's kind of it's surprising, really. I know what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here. I don't even know what's going to happen. I don't even know who's going to win this in real life. All I know is I'm pi I've picked one for the simulation. No and I think that's what I'm going to stick with for my prediction. We've seen this before. I actually really want to play Gargano for this, but the reasons well, man, for he's going off here. I don't know Almas winning make a lot of sense. Take it down with a beautiful suplex. Rope there as a snap yet. suplex into a cover. And now Zelina Vega. What a spectacular move. Distracting the ref here. Oh, look at that. Almas was ready to get a chair out. And the ref caught him. So if you use that, you'll be disqualified. I don't think Almas wants to lose the match, but I don't think he cares if he gets Gargano disqualified. I can't doubt it. I think he'd be perfectly content with that, to be honest. I think that's what he's trying again, right here. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. He'll beat Gargano any way he can. Why does it not surprise me about Andrade Almas? I suppose it took him long enough to get the title. I guess I'll do anything to keep it. And he's going to back in. in at a seven count once again. Inflicting great damage but Almas to the catched him region. straight away. It's going to take a lot more than just some moves to put Gargano out for the count out. He gets it with Gargano with the Enziguri. That was good for Springboard again. Forearm flying forearm by Johnny Wrestling. Byron, he may be down for good. That wouldn't surprise Second me rope now goes Not Johnny Wrestling. He's taken. Calling the, the champion to his feet. Him. Taken down with another forearm. And cover he now. He has it. By Johnny Gargano. GM with a kick out. Despite the fact that Almas had so much control in the early going, I still feel this match could go either way. Coming up big on that one. Just when you thought we were going to crown a new champion. And El Idolo taking time to taunt before pinning Here's the, pin. the challenger. The line. Gargano still fighting in this match. What is it going to take to put this man down? Is it going to take a hammerlock DDT? I believe the third feet, time. Clearly easier said than done. I'm not even sure how many times I've done it. It might DDT. just be. That should do it. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another. That look. might. That might end Gargano's chance here at the NXT title. He's had Champa in his mind his whole, his whole match. He must have had Champa in his mind, and that's helped Almas retain. We'll have to wait another day.
It took three Hammerlock DDTs in the ring, plus one on the outside. But Gargano has finally fallen. Gargano was aware of Ciampa's recovery time as much as anyone else. And that must have been why it was on his mind, because he's definitely... Well, he's definitely not been on his game tonight. And due to that, Andrade Cianalma has retained the NXT Championship. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Thanks for tuning in for this championship And that match. is going to end match it was. The, uh, the takeover predictions. That was a lot more one-sided, that main event, than I thought it would be. If you're wondering why the stream's still going like, oh, what the fuck are you, what are you doing? That's it. I usually just set up the Royal Rumble matches on stream. Don't know, people just want to see it sometimes, so I'm just going to do it again. Yeah. I do do it every time, so... There we go. All the matches actually went the way I wanted, which if there's something wrong with this game. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. Well, that was a fun simulation, not even gonna lie. My favourite match, though, I think, has got to be the women's. It was fun playing as Baszler. Now, I could see if I could find a Royal Rumble 18 arena on Community Creations real quick. If I don't find anything good, I'm probably just gonna use the 17 arena. That's cool with everyone. Now, so far, there's six matches confirmed for the Royal Rumble. There was seven, but as we know, there is not any more. Due to Enzo Mori being released. But, there's still six matches to look forward to for the Royal Rumble, or at least... Some of them you look forward to, some of you won't, you know. The Royal Rumble is always there as well, the main event. Both the Royal Rumbles actually this year. And that's what sucks, actually. I'm going to bring, I'm going to talk about it now. I don't know what to do about the women's Royal Rumble. It's kind of put me off actually doing a Royal Rumble simulation. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's just I don't know how to do it. I think I'm going to pick the four, but what I'm going to, what I'm thinking of doing now, this isn't for definite. What I'm thinking of doing, I was going to pick the four best from Raw and the four best from SmackDown and have them in an eight-man battle royal. But not not another top runner. Not over the top runner. Probably do a pin and submission one. Or maybe we'll do the over top rum rumble because it is... I don't know. I'm just... I need to think about it before tomorrow. What am I doing on here? I'm looking for a Royal Rumble arena. That's correct. But if you guys, I don't know, what do you guys think? You guys get ideas what I could do for Women's Rumble instead? Because I was trying to see if there was any way of possibly doing a, a Women's Rumble, but I think all it says the only way you can do it is mods. It's really dumb. I don't want to sound mean, but none of these arenas look too great for the... Uh, 2018 Rumble. I feel like this is the only one I've seen. Is the logo actually going to be like that? I'm not even. I'm not even. To be honest, I've not even kept up with the actual design of the the Rumble banner thing. You know what I mean? I think I'm just going to stick with the 17 Rumble arena. It's just easier. I'm just going to quickly make the matches now a bit off. I'm not going to do... I'm not going to, like, pick every single Rumble participant now. I'll do that tomorrow when I do the stream. Because I cannot be bothered just now. I'm actually pretty tired. Oh, 
I swear I'm fucking old. I get tired so easily. So we got Brawl Legends vs. R Truth, Enzo Cast vs. Rhino Slayer. Of course, we're not at the Rumble, I just realized. I was wondering why. We're, <laughs> I just realized it said Brawl. <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't this SmackDown, guys. Okay, Rumble. Now, first of all, we need to make sure we have the right champions. That is essential. So, the champion, Raw Tag Team Champions are Rollins and Jordan. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm going to do this off screen. There's too much to change. I need to change uh, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Well, I could actually just do it now quickly to the Usos. But I need to make Gable and Benjamin's team thing. I probably just use the American Alpha stuff because I'm a lazy bastard. I need to make that. Then I need to do one for Rons and Jordan. In fact, that's a no. It won't take too long because I've got an idea. I'm going to keep going. Keep streaming because why not? It means not playing with my friends and that's something I like doing because my friends are weird. Anyway, I don't know what I'm on about so we'll just ignore me. We're going to call them American Beta because that's what they've been referred to as. <laughs> and it's also what my friend, one of my friends called them too, so... Call American Beta, team announce. There isn't an American Beta team announce, so you won't have a team announce. It won't be Jason Jordan, it'll be Shelty B. Fucking whatever his number is. Forgot what his number is. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be American Beta, and then Rollins and Jordan. Which basically means switching Ambrose out, putting Jordan. Entrances are still separate. I guess we'll fucking have the, uh, the cheer. I'm just gonna call him Rollins and Jordan. And then we'll put the tag belts on them. I think I'm gonna do the American Beta entrance off screen. Excuse me. It's because Jordan's still on SmackDown, isn't it? Fucking. Oh. I had to keep a save open, like, all the time, instead of having to make a new one each time I do a thingy, because that's what I do. As Mark Henry would say. I'm just going to keep this save for uh, simulations only, because. Season having to set all this shit every single time. So Rollins and Jordan are a tag team now. They should be able to get the Raw Tag Team Championship because I've switched Jordan to Raw now. Where are they? There they are. Lovely. I've picked the wrong people. <laughs> there we go. And of course, Simpson Star Rod number one contender, so that's correct. Oh, there's so much to set up. I don't even remember the Rumble card. My arm is itchy. The reason I'm coming out here is to make a custom match because it's two out of three falls for the SmackDown tag titles. Friends wondering what I'm doing. That's probably going to be normal, isn't it? Yeah, normal. Two out of three falls. Uh, except. On, on. Yeah, everything's just normal. Let's call it... Let's call it what it is, really. Two out of three falls. I honestly think this is where... Gable and Benjamin will win the tag titles. I don't know. Um, this is my ten. I wouldn't mind either way. So done that. Now we'll go back into universe. I need to make sure all the champions are correct as well. Whoa. Who's the United States champion? Fuck. Um, oh, yeah. He's not on the fucking SmackDown. This game is a pile of fucking nonce.
Rude, why do you not? Uh, why are you not automatically on SmackDown? Why just make things difficult? Right, where is Rude now? There he is, twenty-five. Lovely. We'll put Owens down there because he's nowhere near. I also can't make the fucking handicap match for the WWE title an actual handicap match, which fucking I guess makes sense. Order. It should be AJ, and it is AJ now. Um, just making sure all the champions are correct. Charlotte, yes. Usos, yes. Alexa, yes. Bronze and Jordan, yes. Neville, no. There isn't one, so I can leave as is. Intercontinental titles and Miz again, so yeah, that makes sense. Lovely. Guys aren't even defending their titles. I think they should be, but that's just me. I'm just going to do an eight. Eight women battle royal. And it will be over the top rope because it's Rumble. The Royal Rumble. Uh, six matches so far. So just... That's one of the matches I was going to have. I can't have two matches for the tag titles. Why is there two matches for the tag titles? I would just pretend this is a little shitty pre-show match. You never know there could actually be a pre-show match by tomorrow. Just checking the Rumble card again. Last updated four hours ago. Refresh. What have we got here then? Let's take a quick look. Yeah, no pre-show match has been announced yet. Two tags. There's no singles match. Like, right, okay. There's no... That's a fun... Fun fact. You know what? I'm going to tweet out that fun fact because I feel smart now. You know what? Fun fact. I'm proud of myself for recognising that. There'll be a fucking pre-show match that's going to be a singles match tomorrow, but for now, I'm proud of myself. Now, it's just going to be like a filler match, so we'll have fucking Sawyer, Sawyer Fulton against Kurt Hawkins again. <laughs> Kurt Hawkins. Although, is Kurt Hawkins in a rumble? Oh, it's Mario good to fucking double duty. It's not like he's actually wrestling. <laughs> Oh, I've got Paige's theme in my ear. I really wish she was in the Rumble. I'd put her in the eight women match if she was actually still wrestling, which is unfortunate she's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the... They're going to kick it off big, ain't they? They're going to kick it off big. They'll do the, probably do the SmackDown tag titles first. Or at least this is the order I'm doing them in. I don't really care what order they're doing them in. Chat. Benjamin. We'll bring out a tire two. I don't know what a tire two is, but we'll bring it out anyway. Some of these overalls, are, by the way, these overalls are custom overalls that I've edited myself. Some of them are kind of biased, and some of them I actually kept the way they are, but still. There we go. Oh boy, I feel like all eight men who are involved in the matches will also be in the Rumble. So that puts the count up to 25 in my opinion, there'll be five returns. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm going to do anyway, regardless for the Rumble match. I feel like it'll happen. So I'll put the, I'll put the women's Rumble here. I don't feel like they're going to have that as high as the men's Rumble. I really wish... It sucks, because look, I go in here, there's no women at all. Like, usually, you go to the top of the list, there'll be Asuka somewhere around here, between these two, but she's not, which... I don't know why they haven't let the women do a Royal Rumble match in this game. Why haven't they updated it like that? I don't... whatever. We'll do an eight, 
eight women, not eight men, eight women battle royal. So top four names on each roster that aren't the champions, I guess. Becky, Becky. Naomi, Natalia, Natalia, Ruby Riot. Ruby Those are SmackDown Riot. ones. Then the Raw ones, obviously. Sasha. Sasha Banks. Asuka. Asuka. Naya. Naya. And Bayley. I would put Ronda in, but mm, I, I'm not going to. Basically. So that'll be the Women's Royal Rumble because I can't do an actual Women's Royal Rumble, which is really fucking irritating me now. Then following that will be the what matches are there? Legit, my brain. There's the WWE title. You know, I put the other tag title match here. For the moment, it's just normal. Break orbit. Break orbit. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Can I hear this? Uh, if you were me, you wouldn't be able to hear the announcers over the game music because I turned, I didn't turn the game music down because nobody can hear it. Uh, Sarah and Sheamus versus Jordan Rollins, right? I think I may have gotten overboard with Rollins written a little. Seth I should probably bring that down. Rollins! I definitely should bring Rollins' written down. Uh, regardless, I'm going to leave it for now. Then I'm going to do a WWE title, then Universal title, then Rumble. That sounds good. It's almost like it happened. Exact Rumble last fucking year. And then the... I just... I don't understand. What goes through Universe's mind when it's thinking of this shit. Regardless, it's going to be one and two... As far as I know, one and two tag. It sucks that you can't put it as a title match, but. AJ I mean, you'll be coming up with a title anyway. Uh, AJ versus Owens and Zayn. I feel like AJ will somehow get, find a way to win. Maybe dissension between Owens and Zayn. I haven't put entrances on for them. I'm going to have to. Legit, I always miss it. I press accept and I miss something. I'll s s uh, switch it all up in here. Look, you can do it in here as well, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. And then, last match, I'm going to edit and then I'm going to head off for a little while. I might, sh I will be streaming tomorrow anyway. I don't know if I'll stream again tonight, though. I suppose I could finish off Wolf Among Us tonight, said tomorrow. But maybe, I don't know. Uh anyway, triple threat. As far as I know it's normal. If Kane came out first. Imagine if Crawford Kane was in the fucking universal type match. Normal Kane at the moment is bad enough because he doesn't deserve not it doesn't deserve that he shouldn't be anywhere near a title his age. I know that sounds bad because he's a legend, but he doesn't need to be near a title. I mean look look how he's raised compared. <laughs> This is based on, like, how he is now. He's just not the monster he was. I've got the old kid at 91, so. So that's going to be the Rumble tomorrow. That's the pre-show. That's not going to happen. That's going to be that first match, then that. Which is, that's, that's the Women's Rumble, by the way, guys, in case you weren't aware. There are Raw Tag Titles. Then the WWE title, but you can't have a title match for it because it's fucking dumb. And then the Universal title, which I haven't actually set to the Universal title. So I'm going to have to quickly check this again, because I'm a fucking idiot. Oh boy, if my head was screwed on, we'd all be safe. But it isn't, Kane. is it? Let's be honest. Kane. Braun. Braun Not Roman. Anyone but Roman. Fuck off. Brock. Brock. 
Roman's winning it at WrestleMania. Can't be greedy tonight. You can't have a title match tonight. I'm fucking this man. Maybe they'll have a plot twist and they won't have Roman go for the title. And maybe I'm just fucking dreaming. But regardless, that's where we're going to end the stream. NXT TakeOver Philadelphia predictions were done about 15 minutes ago now. I've just been editing the Rumble for tomorrow. So, of course, we're going to start off with the SmackDown Tag Team title match. Two out of three falls, of course. Then we're going to have the Women's Raw Rumble. I've just picked the four best from Raw and the four best from SmackDown. For being, well, not exactly the best, but like the, the biggest names. I Maybe should have included Carmella, but she's money in the bank, so... So I didn't. And then we've got the Raw Tag Team title match. WWE Championship match, where you can't have a title on the line in a handicap match. The Universal Championship triple threat. And of course, a Royal Rumble, where I'll edit the participants tomorrow off. Well, the, maybe the tonight off screen. But they'll be ready for tomorrow. And then we will go with the Royal Rumble prediction stream tomorrow. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the NXT TakeOver Philadelphia prediction stream, just to go over once again my predictions for tomorrow's TakeOver. Velveteen Dream versus Cassie Sono. I think Velveteen Dream will win. Alistair Black's winning that. Ember Moon versus Shayna Baszler. We're going to have a new NXT Women's Champion in Baszler. The NXT Tag Team Championships, The Office of Pain versus Undisputed Era. Undisputed Era will retain their titles. And then the main event, Andrade Almas versus Johnny Gargano for the NXT Championship. Almas will retain because Gargano will be distracted or attacked or something will happen with Ciampa coming in to interfere. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, that's it. I am tired. Good night. Well, it's half four. Not really good night. Good evening. I hope you, ha hope you all have a good rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow for some of them good old Royal Rumble predictions. And maybe, maybe the last episode of Wolf Among Us. I might just hold that off till Sunday though. Bye for now.